So for this video, there are going to be a few different exercises or movements for uh, someone who has limited upper body movements. And this will uh, be some exercise that you could use at home or in a uh, school setting if needed. So what I have here are three paper balls that I use just with uh, regular paper and just roll them up. And then I also have a few balls of different size, depending on the difficulty of the exercise that you want to make it. So we're going to pretend that this chair is a wheelchair. So I have no mobility of my legs, but um, so for these, depending on the limitations, you can do different things. So I'm having the ball down here as I guess my target. So this is what we want to be aiming for. And then the ball is the object that we're going to want to try and get into the ball. So depending on the limitation, one that we could have is if they always have their hand crumpled, just having, having the ball on top of the crumpled hand and either having them either move their fingers to let the ball roll off, or if they can bend their wrist, you could have them try and drop it in the ball, depending on that. So whether they can extend their arms or they can extend their arm, you can move the ball in that direction to help them out or make it easier or more difficult. But if they are unable to extend their fingers, this is a good way to do it using both hands and both arms. And then another way, if they are able to extend their fingers, you could have them try and push it off. So those are two exercises that you could do based on those limitations. So others, you could also do for grip strength. So putting it in their hand and having them grip the ball and then giving them a cue or a hand signal so that they know when to try and ungrip it. All right, so other ways, if they can have their hands open, either trying to have them close it for grip strength or having them turn over and try and get in the ball. That's another way to do it. So you have them turn their wrist Try and have them get in the bowl that way. Other ways, if there's limited uh, mobility in the fingers, another way is by just having them try and roll the ball from finger to finger. So very subtle movements, just moving the ball over and over. So if it falls off, obviously they don't need to try and get in the ball because they are just trying to keep it on their hand and just move it very slightly from finger to finger. But if you want to have them try and tip it over from one side of the hand or the other to try to get in the ball, then I'll go pinky side and try and make it in. So those are a few of the different exercises. So obviously make sure you're using both hands. You want to increase both sides of mobility the same. Um, so those are a few of the exercises. So making sure, depending on their mobility, either extending the elbow to try and make them reach out and try and get more mobility that way or a shoulder you can have them try and lift their shoulder or bring their shoulder down so there are many different ranges of motion that you could use for these activities